The Philippines is one of the most biodiverse countries in the world. In this series, we take a closer look at the connections of man and nature within the various protected areas in the country. How the smallest of our actions affect the bigger ecosystem and community. And how in the struggle between conservation and development, we find a fragile balance that guarantees our future's survival. I am Loren Legal, and this is our fragile Earth, protected areas of the Philippines. The Simbahan Talaga's protected landscape, as well as some of other parts of the Sierra Madre mountain range, is the homeland of the Dumagat people. For generations, this protected area has nourished their tribe, providing rich areas for fishing, hunting, and the gathering of the bounties of the forest. But the nomadic way of life of the Dumagat is also evolving. As a people proud of their unique identity, the Dumagat have maintained their customs, traditions, and beliefs despite the challenges of present-day living. Yet, it is fascinating to see how, in some ways, they are slowly integrating with lowland communities. The Simbahan Talaga's protected landscape was declared as a watershed forest reserve in 1992. It was then legislated as a protected area under the expanded National Integrated Protected Area System or the INIPAS Act of 2018. The protected area covers the upland areas of Barangay Simbahan and Barangay Abulig of the municipality of Dinalungan. It is predominantly characterized by second growth dipterocarp forests. Ito ang catchment basin. Uh, ng isang lugar na lahat-lahat yung mga naiipon na ulan ay doon lang dadaloy sa isang lugar ano kagaya na itong simbahan at sa katalagas iisang watershed ito kaya dito lahat-lahat ng katubigan nito dito dumadaloy sa kadalihanan marami itong buhay ilang dito ano alam din natin na itong kabundukan ng Sierra Madre ay punong-puno ng mga dipterocarps species Located in the northern part of Luzon, the Sierra Madre mountain range is one of the last remaining intact forests in the country and is considered one of the richest in terms of biodiversity. The Simbahan Talaga's protected landscape is no exception. With a robust forest providing shelter and food for wildlife and the river system distributing nourishment throughout the area, the strong protection of this site today gives hope that whatever resources were lost in the last 30 years will definitely be restored. Ah, uh, ang madalas ko pong nakikita diyan kapag ako po yumahon, makakita uh, po ako ng tarik tik, kalaw, mga lawin po, iba't ibang klase po ng ibon, tapos yung wild na manok po, kung tawagin po namin ilabuyo. Saka yan po mga baboy, wira mo po. Ang uh, kalimitan dito uh, sa Flora, ano, mga dipterocarps species, lawan, bagtikan, yakal, uh, may almond. Meron rin tayo mga hardwood species, ano, yakal, giho. And then sa mga kwan naman, hayop, ano, meron tayong usa, uh, baboy ramo, yung unggoy, may hornbill din tayo. Dito, tariktik, yun din ang nakikita natin sa loob ng PA. Here in the Simbahan, Talaga's protected landscape, the Sangay River and the Umihiem River both play a big role in connecting the mountainside to the open sea, nurturing the various forms of life and its ecosystems along the way. It is a great benefit to the communities surrounding these river systems that this site has been granted protected area status and has therefore guaranteed the continuity of their ways of living for many years to come. 
nagpapasalamat nga ako dahil nadeklarang protected area ito dahil kung hindi baka itong ilog tuyo na pagkatapos baka yung mga bundok gumuho na malaking bagay na naging protected area itong area ng simbahan na ito Pero nung araw, nung uh, mga, mga ganong taon, 1970s, pati hanggang dito po, napakarami ng baboy, damo, usa, yung mga ganon. Lahat po ng mga wild animals noon, halos uh, nandito lang sila. Nakakahalubilo lang halos ng mga taon. Nung araw po eh, pagka nagpunta ka sa farm mo, pagbaba mo, sila naman yung hahalili. Nung wala pang STPL, sa, sa pabamalagi ko po dito nakita ko na yung iba na hindi katutubo, wala silang habas sa pagkuhan ng anumang likas na yaman dito sa kagubatan. Tulad po ng may nagpuputol ng kahoy, nangungur, may nangunguriente, may naglason. Hindi nila pinapahalagahan yung kalikasan. Basta habang may makuha sila, kuha sila ng kuha. Pero nitong nandito po ang DNR na itinlagang ahensya ng pamahalan upang pangalagahan ang ating kalikasan na kontrol yung mga taong ito na walang habas na kumukuha ng mga likas na yaman ng ating kagubatan. The long-tailed macaque is the most common type of monkey in the country. Here it runs about playfully, seemingly tamed with the children, an interaction that should at all times be discouraged, allowing for wildlife to retain their natural state. The evergreen and undisturbed closed canopy forest of this 1,100 meter high protected area makes a perfect site for adventure, nature education, or nature trips. Enthusiasts and novices alike can witness the thriving life of a variety of plants and wildlife in their natural habitats while enjoying the pristine waters of its rivers and falls. Isa po sa pinaka dinadayo sa lugar ay ang Manaring Falls. Isa pa rin po ang Parekpek Falls na sinasayo po nila. Ilan po yun sa mga ecotourism activities po namin doon like bird watching din, observation of flora and fauna, nature tripping. In the usual desire for progress and development, the indigenous Dumagar, who for generations have been living in this mountain range, have gradually assimilated with the people of the lowlands. The social bond between the Dumagat and the rest of the community at Simbahan Talaga's protected landscape has greatly improved. The Dumagat are also partners of the Protected Area Management Board through the Protected Area Management Office in its community-based ecotourism product offerings. But while the interaction of our indigenous peoples with the rest of the community seem to have progressed beautifully, a misunderstanding arose between agencies of government who have jurisdiction over their movement and territories. Ang kasama namin dito ay Dumagat tribe. Ano? Ang hanap buhay din nila, yung pangingisda, pangangaso, yun ang kalimitan na hanap buhay nila. And then, kung meron kaming project dito, yun ang mga kinukuha namin sila, ano? uh, sinosuelduhan na kasama namin sa bundok. Nag-umpisa kasi ito noong kwan, ano, meron proyekto ng NCIP. Ay, sila ay nag-erect ng structures doon sa pulos natin na walang pahintulot ng pambi. Any construction, dito sa loob ng PI, meron basbas ng pambi. Ang sagot naman ng NCIP ano, uh, na yung lupa na pinagtayuan nila ay lupang ninuno. Well, kinikilala din natin yung lupang ninuno, pero dapat magkaharmonize yung batas na yun ng inipas at saka ipralo. Kasi kung minsan magbabanggahan yan, hindi natin alam kung saan tayo papasok ng isa't isa. Doon kasi sa inipas, ano, uh, sa prohibited uh, acts nito, merong sinasabi doon sa section 20, paragraph O, na bawal mag-erect na walang pahintulot ng pambi. So, pangarap namin sa pambi, as pambi, pangarap din namin siyempre na maging harmonious ang relationship namin dito sa NCIP. Unang-una, kasama namin yung mga IPs dito sa loob. So, nagkakaroon lang doon siguro sa mga leader na kailangan sila muna yung maging 
maayos yung ugnayan, yung mindset natin dapat isa yung tahak para mas ma-attain natin yung ganong pangarap, yung ating goal na ma-protect and ma-conserve yung ating uh, itong simbahan talaga as protected landscape. The indigenous peoples are windows to our past. Within their customs and rituals lies the rawness of a culture that is deeply and truly Filipino. The preservation of their ways of life is therefore of utmost importance to us as a nation moving forward into the future. So, dati, yung mga katutubo namin, saan-saan sila nakatira. Nagkaroon kami ng, ano, ng, ng pag-uusap, tatulong ng, ng aming munisipyo, with mayor, saka vice in Sangguni ang bayan, ayun, counterpart ng LGU Barangay. Nakapagpabili kami, sir, ng, ano, ng lote na ngayon ay ano, more or less one hectare para sa ano, humigit kumulang na sa 40 families, yung mga kapatid naming katutubong agta, na ngayon, eh, nun, masaya sila ngayon na, na nakatira doon. The need to harmonize the laws that were created to protect our indigenous communities has never been more urgent. Both the Indigenous Peoples' Rights Act and the expanded National Integrated Protected Area System have provisions to sustain the indigenous practices and livelihood. The challenge is for government agencies to find a common ground to prioritize the welfare of its citizenry. Having an open mind, a healthy dialogue, and the openness to compromise will be a sure way to reach a consensus. In Simbahan Talaga's protected landscape, uh, there is a conflict of uh, interpretation of laws between the NCIP and uh, the, the DNR in terms of uh, implementing our programs and uh, projects. So th there should be really a you know, more specific, more clear policies or ano ang dapat na talagang uh, institutional mechanisms kapag nagkaroon ng pag-overlap between a protected area and uh, a county area. Lowland dwellers and transient visitors at the Simbahan Talaga's protected landscape continue to learn from the Dumagat, their indigenous knowledge, their innate culture of sustainability, and more importantly, the respect for and oneness with nature. Now that it is declared as a protected area, there is hope that we will see the Dumagat, the Tagalog, Ilocanos, and other groups in this area helping each other in the protection and conservation of this sanctuary.